You may have seen that if a bread is left unused under warm and moist condition, it is attacked by fungus. Microorganism spoil our food, and the spoiled food emit bad smell and has a bad taste, and which changes its color too. Any change which occur in a food item and which is unfit for human consumption is considered food spoilage. The process by which food is treated and handled to stop or slow down the food spoilage and loss of quality is called food preservation. Preservation usually involves preventing bacteria, fungi and other microorganism from developing as well as reducing their growth. Food preservation is very important. It expands the supply of food and extend its shelf life. It also helps to cut down on food waste and minimize food spoilage and food poisoning. It prevents microbial contamination and kill pathogens. A number of food preservation techniques can be used to prevent, delay or reduce the spoilage of food. So the first method of food preservation is the chemical methods. Salts and edible oils are common chemicals which are generally used to check the growth of microorganisms. So they are called preservatives. We add salt or acid preservatives to pickle to prevent the attack of microbes. Sodium benzoate and sodium metal bisulfite are common preservatives. These are also used in jams and squashes to check their spoilage. Preservation by salt is known as salting. Salting helps to preserve fruits for a long term. Meats and fishes can also be preserved by salting. Salting is also used to preserve amla, raw mangoes, tamarind and other food items. Sugar is another common preservative that is used in jams and jellies. Sugar is a good moisture absorbent. By reducing the moisture content, it restricts the microbial growth. Jams, jellies and squashes are preserved by sugar. Use of oil and vinegar also prevents spoilage of pickle because bacteria cannot live in such an environment. Vegetables, fruits, fish and meats are often preserved by adding oil and vinegar. Smoking is another method of food preservation which not only increases the shelf life of the food but also enhances the flavor. Smoking is the process of flavoring, cooking and preserving food by exposing it to the smoke from burning wood. It is done at the commercial level as well as at the home level too. The wood smoke contains a large number of antimicrobial compounds that slow down the spoilage of animal fat. It helps to dehydrate the food and thus prevent the spoilage. Another method of food preservation is heat and cold treatments. You must have seen we boil the milk before it is used or stored. Boiling kills many microorganisms. Similarly, if we keep our food in the refrigerator, low temperature also inhibits the growth of microbes. Boiling and refrigeration prevent around 70% of microbial growth. So, boiling kills a microorganism that cannot tolerate extreme temperature and helps in food preservation. Refrigerators have low temperature, so microbes do not get optimum temperature they need for their growth and their growth is inhibited. Nowadays, milk is delivered in packets and this milk doesn't spoil quickly. So, if you notice, it is pasteurized milk. Pasteurized milk can be consumed without boiling as it is free from harmful microbes. In this method, the milk is heated to about 70 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 seconds and then suddenly chilled and stored. By doing so, it prevents the growth of microbes. This method was first discovered by Louis Pasteur. That's why it is known as 
pasteurization another method of food preservation is canning canning includes cooking food sealing it in airtight containers and then boiling the containers as a method to destroy or weaken any remaining bacteria meat fish fruits are preserved by canning Many food products can have their shelf life extended by storing them at 4 degrees Celsius or below. Fresh fruits and vegetables, eggs, dairy products and meats are all commonly refrigerated food. Freezing is an excellent way to preserve the nutrition value of food also. Another method of food preservation is dehydration. Dehydration is the process of removing moisture from food material in order to preserve them it is the simplest method and prevent food spoilage by removing water removing water inhibit the growth of microorganisms dehydration is one of the oldest and most popularly used method it is used to preserve fruits vegetables fish and meat storage and packing also help to increase the shelf life of the food these days dry fruits and even vegetables are sold in sealed airtight packets to prevent the attack of microbes so far we have discussed different methods to increase the shelf life of the food and preserve it and that is achieved by controlling the growth of microorganisms either by removing water air boiling or using any other method hope you enjoyed learning today please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching